Okay, I was in the process of um, designing a typography lesson, but I figured I would take a few minutes just to talk about some of the software that you might like to try and use. Um, and just basically um, what you would use some of it for. Of course, uh, right now what we're looking at is a plain web browser. And the web browser uh, is where you surf the internet. As you can tell, I primarily use Firefox, but of course on Internet Explorer, you can use Internet Explorer. And uh, any one of the, and uh, if you're on a Mac, of course, they have one called Safari. Those are the most popular, but there's a, there's a variety of other ones. And if you're going to be getting into web design and things like that, you should start looking at some of the other browsers. If you go under Google, of course, and you search, there is, of course, the Google Chrome, um, which I really don't use here. Install Google Chrome, a faster way to browse the web. I don't, I don't even know if I have it installed on this computer. Let me see. Uh, what do we have here? Google SketchUp. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I don't think so. I have a bunch of stuff on here. Oh, here it is. Google Chrome. It's probably an old version. Again, these are these are web browsers. Um, they're used to uh, go through the internet. Um, of course, another very popular one is Opera. Opera browser. Fast. Very, very popular on a, a wireless device is the Opera browser. So a lot of the, of course, not the Apple one because Apple has its own thing, but, you know, on, on Blackberries or some other kind of wireless um, device, uh, Opera is, is, is a very popular browser. So, um, you know, do a little research into different browsers. Find out which one you like the best. Again, I tend to use the Firefox just because it looks pretty much the same on both Windows and Mac, and I primarily use both Windows and Mac all the time. So as far as software is concerned, probably the one I, this piece of software I use most is, is a web browser. Um, making websites, uh, of course, I'm right now I'm using Dreamweaver here, and Dreamweaver is probably the most popular application to make web browsers or make websites. As you can see, uh, this is an application. It looks like Microsoft Word. You type, and you can type in letters, and it just makes letters. And you can bring in pictures and things like that. Again, it's uh, Dreamweaver, and it's a very, very, very popular program. I use it probably my second most popular application to use is Dreamweaver, besides a browser. Um, and of course, my third most popular piece of software I use pretty much almost every day would be Photoshop. Um, so we have Photoshop it is a pixel-based um, picture editing, but it also is a, a tool that we use to build things. And later on in this semester, we'll, we'll learn lots about different things about using Photoshop. So. Eventually, you, we will. I will have a lot of videos on how to use Photoshop, and it's basically a great kind of paint program, as well as um, you know you can draw with it. Uh, you can open up a picture with it. And many of you, I'm sure, have already been using already been using Photoshop before in the past. I don't even know if I have a picture here somewhere. I have to have a picture. There's got to be a picture somewhere. Um, oh, I got a cactus picture somewhere. No. Um, some Photoshop homework from a student. Uh, let's see. Picture, picture, picture. Mystery doesn't have any pictures. No, oh, that's sound. Oh. So, uh, I don't know if I have any photos right here, but I think you all pretty much know what Photoshop is using. Oh, here's a, here's a drawing from my nephew. So, Photoshop is my probably third most popular piece of software I use all the time. In addition, um, let's look at the list I have here, if we can get through them here. Uh, under Accessories, uh, I want you to use the Windows Paint program a little bit. If you haven't used Paint, this is a great sort of simple application that I sort of started drawing on the computer with. It's a fun application that you can fill in colors and do things with. It's called Windows Paint. It comes with uh, Windows if you have a Windows computer. If you have a Mac computer, you can go and look. There's some Mac kind of similar things that you can download off the Internet. So that's another program that you can start playing with um, right away, Windows Paint. And I have a lot of examples of students who've done really good stuff with that. 
I have older versions of software, as you can see. I have CS3, Camtasia Studio. That's the software I'm using right now to capture my audio and my voice. It's from a, a company called TechSmith. Um, it was a Dell computer. There's some crazy games. Handbrake is a great free application that you can download where you can convert uh, DVDs and, and put them into a digital file that you can play on your computer. So it's a great free program. Uh, again, it's called Handbrake. I recommend it highly. Everybody should have Handbrake. Um, IS Switch FTP program. This is a program I use to send files from uh, one computer to another. Uh, it's an FTP program. Uh, I don't know where this professional one came from. iTunes, of course, is where you can play. Um, iTunes is, is, of course, where you can play your music for. Um, of course, it's made by Apple, but it works on both Windows and Mac, and hence that's what we're looking at right now. We're on a Windows computer, and I still have iTunes at work. This is a really slow computer, so be patient as I'm talking here. So iTunes, again, you can play your music. I have all kinds of music on my computer. We got our gorillas. Oh, that's missing. I must have moved it. There we go. My Sharona from the 70s, 1979. So again, if you don't have iTunes and you're not listening to music on iTunes, I get it. I recommend it highly. You can take music from a, D, a CD and put it on your computer, put it on your iPod, and things like that. So again, that's another program you should have on your computer. Uh, I have a, 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 a camera that I don't have hooked up right now, but that's with the Logitech Quick Cam. Uh, I got some games. Uh, of course, Microsoft. I have an older version of Microsoft. I know some of you send me homework in a newer version I can't open on this computer, and I know there's an adapter for it, but the adapter doesn't work on my computer because I don't have XP3 or something. I don't know. Of course, my Firefox browser, QuickTime, if you don't have QuickTime. QuickTime is a great program that you can use to play videos on your computer. And so it's made by Apple, but it works on Mac, and I have it on both my Mac and my Windows computer. Again, it's called QuickTime. It's a great program you can use. And if you don't have QuickTime, you should install that on your computer. What else do we have on this computer? Uh, Roxio is a program that I use to, to make DVDs. Uh, that's on a Windows, of course, on a Mac. You can just do it from your desktop. Uh, you can do it from Windows, but avoid using the, the basic Windows um, burning of a, of a DVD. It doesn't work on a Mac, and it's kind of evil. So uh, if you can get a you know cheap piece of software to burn a DVD or CD on your Windows computer, I recommend Roxio. Uh, antivirus software, some more games. I have a Wacom tablet I use every once in a while. Again, this, there's a free version of this WSFTP, which is a program that I use to, to uh, um, send files over, over from one computer to the other. Uh, we call that FTP, and there's a free one called WSFTP. If you just look for it, you can get it. Uh, let's see. Encore is a program I use to make DVDs from, app, from Adobe. Um, and it works okay. Audacity is a free application that you can use to record your voice. And if I hit the record button now, it's going to start recording my voice. And so if you don't have Audacity and you want to record your voice on your computer, I recommend to download it. It's a free piece of software. Um, you can listen to it. You can see how easy that was. I have a microphone hooked up to my computer, and you can just record right here. It's a free piece of software. Just surf on the Internet. Look for Audacity. I recommend that for everybody to have on their computer if they want to record their voice. Again, it's called Audacity. And then, of course, uh, most of the other stuff I have uh, that you can't see below my viewable area here is, is, is basically Adobe stuff. Uh, over here, uh, InDesign is a program that I use uh, that's an Adobe product to make uh, um, more publishing things for desktop publishing and things. Adobe Media Encoder is a great program you can use to convert from one video file to another, and I use that all the time. Uh, what else do we have? There's a couple games. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> Scanning software, oh, tax. Google Chrome, SpyBot is a program I use. Uh, it's, it's not as important as it used to be, but you know when you get people putting things on your computer you don't want, it'll remove it. Uh, of course, Skype you can you can call and phone phone people free as well as uh, from computer to computer free. So if you don't have Skype, it's a great way to stay in touch with people. Um, what else is there out there? Free, free, meta, other games my kids put on my computer. Oh, Google SketchUp. If you've never used Google SketchUp, I highly recommend it. It's a great three, 3D program. 
that um, you can use to make things uh, on your computer. Uh, it's a it's a, it's a very free application that you can use. I I use it sometimes in videos. Um, oh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Why is it doing this to me? Oh, it does work though. It's called Google SketchUp. I highly recommend it. It's a free program that you can get from from uh, of course uh, Google. Um, so those are the ones that I kind of primarily use. Again, on my, on my, uh, as far as Adobe is concerned, I have a variety of. I have Adobe uh, Bridge, which is a great program to sort of organize and manage your files. Adobe Di Device Central is a way of testing your your software or your your artwork and stuff on a cell phone. It works like a really good. Um, again, I talked about Dreamweaver already. I use all the time. Uh, these script editors I really don't use. Fireworks was a uh, kind of a program that before uh, Adobe bought Macromedia, Fireworks was like sort of the, the Photoshop of Macromedia. But now that Adobe owns what Macromedia used to have, Fireworks in this case, I don't know. It's, it's a good program, but most of the things I do I probably use in Photoshop. Flash is a animation program. Uh, I'll have some examples of that later in the semester. Illustrator is a program that I use all the time for typography, and I teach Illustrator. Um, it's a great uh, um, and it's a great program to do type design and things like that, and of course Photoshop and things like that. Uh, if you're looking to do video editing and things like that on a Windows computer, the Adobe comes with uh, uh, where's my video editing software. Um, Production Premium is the Adobe version of video editing. They have After Effects, which is a, a, a two-dimensional uh, program. I'll show a little example of that in this class. Encore CS4 is a sort of a DVD authoring program that allows you to make menus and things like that. Again, Illustrator. On Location is the uh, Adobe equivalent of, of, of um, you know, uh, shooting video live in real time. That's what On Location means, so that you can... Uh, adjust your camera, adjust the, the computer to shoot the Optimum video. Uh, Photoshop Premiere is the video editing application that comes with uh, uh, Adobe, which is a great application. It works with a lot of different video cameras. And Sound Booth is a sort of a sound making program that comes with the uh, Adobe products. So those are ones that I would use uh, if you're interested in. Of course, Adobe makes most of the products that we teach in, in classes and uh, most of the creative software. Again, if you just go to the adobe.com website, um, there's a whole bunch of free downloads. You can download any of their applications um, and try them. And I recommend, again, Photoshop and Illustrator right off the bat. Um, uh, if you don't or can't afford, uh, a, there is a free version of Photoshop. It's kind of like a free version. It's called gimp.org. Um, this is kind of like it works kind of like Photoshop and it, it kind of looks a little bit like Photoshop and so a lot of the stuff you might want to do in Photoshop you can do in this free version called gimp.org so as we go through and, and look at more software as we're learning uh, how to do things in class um, we'll learn more about software as we go along